Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Gavin, this is GPTV, and in today's video I'm going to change my original CRV steering wheel for my Type R steering wheel. This is the steering wheel I'll be changing in my 2003 RD8 Honda CRV. This steering wheel is a Honda Civic EP3 Type R steering wheel, UK edition. The Japanese edition would have Momo written here but they were all made from Momo. So this is still a Momo steering wheel, it just doesn't have Momo written on it here. This has been sitting in my shed for a long time because uh, I did have it in an old car that I had, an older Honda Stream, and um, I took it out and I just left it in the shed. I didn't do anything with it. But I don't like the steering wheel that's in this Honda CRV now. I'm gonna just change it for this um, Type R one. The splines here on the back of it, you see those? That spiky pieces in there. Those splines on the back of them, they changed between certain years. So in in my Honda Prelude, this wouldn't fit my Honda Prelude. It's a 1995 BB4 Japanese import Honda Prelude. Um, this steering wheel will not fit that. But my newer Honda Stream RN6, a 2008 model, the, uh, the RN6, the steering wheel from that would fit my Honda Prelude and they are like a decade or two apart. I cleaned it up as much as I could anyway. It was um, it was just sitting in the shed. It was all moldy and rotten and everything. So I cleaned it up as much as I could. Um, but there's still there's still a lot of marks here. Like you can see the wear and tear marks and the rips. But as I said, this is going into my Honda CRV. Have you seen the Honda CRV? It's not that great. Um, eventually maybe I'll put another steering wheel into it. I don't know. But if this is just a bang around car, this is just a daily driver that I'm just gonna bang it around. Um, I'd rather have this Type R steering wheel in the car than that steering wheel. I'm more into the OEM Plus kind of look. I like to interchange parts or upgrade a part for something that looks like it was from the factory. First thing to do is disconnect your battery. Five, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it is. As long as you leave it for at least five minutes before you do any work on your steering wheel, you should be fine. There still would be electrical currents running through the, the cables and it's possible that you could explode the airbag if you don't disconnect that battery and wait five minutes. Disconnect your negative battery terminal. First thing you want to do is to center your steering wheel, like that. Next, remove the cover to disconnect your airbag, which is just under here. These covers come off very easily. You just put your finger in there, pull that down, and then just grab it and pull it straight away, revealing the airbag plug. Now you can just grab your car key and put it in here and just pull that out. It just slipped in, just pull it out towards you. Now gently slide this and pull out. Next you have to remove two T30 torque screws, one here and one on the opposite side. And with the torque screw removed, it's time to take out the airbag. And with the airbag removed, take a look in here and you'll see that cable is holding it from coming out. So all you have to do is just re release, release that cable from the clip. And that's your airbag out. Before I go any further, could you please give the video a like because it helps the algorithm to tell other people that like to change the steering wheels themselves that this video is for them. So please, please, please like the video, please. Just go down there now and hit that like button. And also while you're there, just subscribe, it'd be great, thank you. And now with the airbag removed, you can see that this is your SRS or your airbag cable. And this one here is your horn. You need to disconnect this by pressing in that little clip and pulling it down and then put these two cables through that hole when you lift all this off. This is a 14 and you have to remove that 14 to take the steering wheel off. Now I just need a 14 socket. And when I put my 14 socket on, you will see if I try to turn it, the whole steering wheel turns. So what to do is just turn the steering wheel to the side until the steering lock comes on. And now you should be able to turn this without the steering wheel turning too much. Now do not remove this nut all the way. 
what to do is keep pulling on the steering wheel towards you and this will stop the steering wheel from hitting you in the face it is going to be locked on there very tightly so you have to keep pulling it towards you but do not remove this because if you remove this it will just hit you in the face and now you can see that the steering wheel is loose so all I need to do is just remove this nut and the steering wheel will come straight off remember the orientation that you have the steering wheel in so the new one can go on the same way remove the nut and the steering wheel should just fall off that's it now you'll notice that this will move around but try not to move it leave it where it was because your new steering wheel is going to go on that same way i also want to say a quick hello to the person that i seen in the car park the other day there your car is lovely by the way i didn't catch your name and i also had an appointment to go to i was late for the appointment so that's why i really couldn't talk but i was just walking across the car park and all i heard is gptv i'm standing there munching on a, on a mcdonald's breakfast and i just heard gptv gptv and i was like who the hell is called gptv but anyway thanks very much for um thanks very much for noticing me and calling me over um, if anybody else does see me out there, say hello to me. Just I'm not. I'm not gonna. Uh, hopefully, I'll get time to talk to you if you see me. But um, I didn't have time that day. I, I wish I had had time. I would have had a good chat with you. Um, but yeah, it was. Th thanks for watching all the videos. Thanks for noticing me, and thanks for saying hello and so on. Um, hopefully, I see you soon. Now I need to get this steering wheel ready to put it onto the old hub. I just have to remove this airbag, and just like before, remove these covers to unplug the airbag cable and to remove the torque screws. At this point, if you were putting in an aftermarket steering wheel, this is where you would change your hub or your boss. You would put it on here. Now this airbag should just come out. look on your new steering wheel there should be small little notches out of the steering wheel like that and in there you will see these little little pieces that go into the notches on the steering wheel what they do is that aligns where your steering wheel should be but they also this has to be lined up too the new steering wheel should line up with these holes here so this will go in here and this one will go in here and if you line everything up correctly, this should just fall in just like that. You'll know it's in because the splines are almost not visible anymore because the center shaft is nearly at the top of the splines. And then you take your screw, put it back in, and then tighten this screw up to 29 foot-pounds. I set my torque for 29 pounds. And that's now torqued to 29 pounds feet. Now just connect up the horn and the airbag. And with the airbag in, all I need to do is just install these T30 torque screws. Now I have everything in and tidied up. All I need to do is just put the covers back. I just connect up the battery. And we're done. <laughs> now doesn't that look a lot better? It kind of suits the interior a little bit more, doesn't it? I will be changing the stereo, so I'll come back for another video on that. I also will be changing the gear knob. I don't like I don't like the look of this gear knob. So that's why he has a little hat. Because he looks better with a hat on him. Um, he needs a haircut. Yeah, that's nice, yeah. It feels nice and tight. If it feels like it should be in the car. It's only 150 brake horsepower, but it actually moves when you want it to. Something else you can see as well is the circumference of this steering wheel is much smaller than the original steering wheel so that's it's a it feels more sporty it much it feels so much better this this new steering wheel definitely think about getting one of these in your crv and i know that this steering wheel has come out of a type r that was designed to race that's why i like this steering wheel where if i went out if i was to buy an aftermarket steering wheel i would go with spoon or i would go with sparkle it would go with nrg or something strong that i know is going to last or nardy definitely nardy but i wouldn't be going for any knockoff nardies or knockoffs spoon or knockoff whatever i wouldn't be going for any of those other steering wheels because you're putting your life in your own hands putting one of those steering wheels onto your your car 
because you don't know how strong they are. You may pull over and go, yeah, that's grand, but that could literally snap off in your hands and you have no way of steering and you go straight into a wall. So don't be stupid, put a decent steering wheel on if you're going to. Just spend the extra bit of money and put a decent steering wheel into your, into your car. But as of now, it's just a run around vehicle that I can just bang up and down, pats on, and I can drive into the woods in it. I can go to the beach and let the kids wreck the thing. Uh, it's That's what the, this car is for. So I can just go exploring and wreck it. Um, I might even go down the road of raising it. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I'm definitely gonna get new tires, new wheels in the future, but not right now, I don't have the money. I might just spray these wheels that I have, but there's lots of plans with this. Like every car that I have, there's lots of plans with. If the plans come true, they come true. If they don't, they don't. But stick around for more videos, especially on this. Mi Honda Stream needs a lot of work, and Mi Honda Prelude needs a lot of work. If you're just on this video just to see the steering wheel, um, check out the channel. I have four different cars on it. You may have one of these cars. You may want to know something about other, these other cars. I do videos all the time on different things that I'm upgrading or changing on cars. But please hit the like button because that will help the algorithm understand where this video should go. Um, it will help uh, other people find this video much easier. If you thought this was a good video anyway, please like the video. Um, it really does help the algorithm um, to sort of promote me. So thanks very much for watching the video. Please like it, please comment, please subscribe. Please come back for more because there'll definitely be more on this. There will definitely be more on my Honda Accord, my Stream and my Honda Prelude. So please come back for more and let us know what car you want to see in my comments and I'll do what I can with a video for that. Thanks, bye bye. This ain't over.